up Virgo, this is going to be a love forecast for the first half of February. This is for my Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like and throw me a comment. And if you're new to my channel, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings and all the info for that's in the description box of the video. And I am on TikTok and Instagram. If you want to follow me over there, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get started. Spirit, what's coming in, please, for my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the area of love. First half of February. Any love messages for my Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. First half of February. Oops. King of Cups, King of Swords. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, Ace of Wands, the Fool card in the reverse. Okay, Virgo, so I've got two kings here. Some of you are dealing with uh, two possibilities, two options, um, or what I'm getting is that you've got a King of Cups, King of Swords. This could even just be your energy, and it's not gender specific with these kings. It could be that there's a little bit of a battle between the heart and the mind. Okay, I've got an eight of pentacles here in the reverse. So it seems to be a situation where you're feeling like you want to take a step back. Maybe you want to stop investing in something. I feel you could maybe have an emotional bond with someone, but perhaps you're feeling like um, logically and practically speaking, it's not worth your time and your energy anymore. Um, I do feel like you are probably still very connected to this person. Either you or this person might sort of be taking a step back um, there could be a coldness here with that King of Swords. Sometimes the King of Swords is a little bit too much in the head and not enough in the heart space. Maybe that's the person you're dealing with and that's why you're feeling like, hang on, if I'm now thinking practically and logically, is this worth any more of my investment, of my energy, okay? Um, though I have an Ace of Wands here, um, Virgo, okay? So this is about opportunity for passion or perhaps to reignite passion. However, I feel like there is this sense of the fool with the fool in the reverse. It's like something tells me that you're not ready to kind of go for it. So perhaps, as I said, Virgo, maybe you are, for some of you, you're caught between two people um, because maybe there is someone coming in that wants to give you some kind of a new passion, um, but also there's an unreadiness. So perhaps you're now, I'm always hearing, it's like you're very much in this discernment now. So on one hand, I think that you know, there's a feeling of maybe um, excitement or attraction coming in, but you're also now stepping back and thinking, listen, I need to think carefully about where I invest my time and my energy, okay? And that might be because you are dealing with someone that you're trying to cut away or cut out of your life, King of Swords energy, um, or uh, it's because you are now sort of from your experiences understanding what's worth your time right? Um, but there is this Ace of Wands energy and there's a Four of Cups in the reverse and a World card in the reverse. Yeah, there's something about you just wanting to close out unfinished business before you sort of take that jump, take that leap into anything kind of new. I think some of you are dealing with a situation with this Lovers card in reverse where something um, feels unfinished, but there's a sense of withdrawal. Lover's card in the reverse, you could have a soul connection with someone, but you feel like it's imbalanced or it feels a bit one-sided. So now I think that there is a sense of taking a step back and thinking a little bit more practically like about cutting it away. I think for some time, Virgo, with this Four of Cups in the reverse, you may have been in a situation where you were feeling either emotionally rejected due to some patterns that were coming up with this person or... Um, just unfulfilled. And now I think you're in the process of maybe cutting that out or letting that go. But then there is this sort of sense of, okay, maybe I don't feel ready yet for something that might actually be moving quite quickly. We've got this eight of wands energy, right? I think that someone's actually coming at you with a lot of passion. Wands, wands could be fire energy um, or otherwise it's just someone that's like quite speedily um, messaging you, communicating, very attractive to you. Um, so yeah, let me just get a little bit more while we have a King of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you're really looking for reciprocity, Virgo, with that Six of Pentacles. So it might be that for some time you felt like you were giving all of your heart, but you were getting kind of breadcrumbed. Um, 
tell me a bit more. Yeah, I do think that the wheel is turning in your favor, Virgo. Um, I think that you are experiencing a shift now. I think you've had to learn about reciprocity through this experience or maybe a series of experiences, right? Um, and we have a queen of swords in the reverse. So I do have a king and queen of swords in the reverse. So I do think this tells me, Virgo, that there is someone that you've either just recently cut out or you're in the process of cutting out, okay? Um, I do think that the king and queen of swords, this could be someone that maybe you felt was a match on some level intellectually at least maybe there was not enough going on in the heart space because with the king of cups and the six of pentacles here it might feel that when it came to emotions you were getting breadcrumbed but king and queen of swords there was some kind of a, a strong connection mentally um i also feel virgo that you were sort of the situation has made you feel that you have lost boundaries like you have sorry had poor boundaries queen of swords in the reverse is someone that holds back on speaking her truth. Again, it's not gender specific, but it's that energy, it's a queen, but I'm, you know, it's about holding back on the truth, um, feeling like you can't be authentic, um, having poor boundaries. And then the consequence of that is that you reach sort of a tipping point where you feel like you're just done and you wanna cut it away. And I think that that's kind of where you're at, though it feels unfinished. So maybe you're also going to be sort of completing that making that final decision um, or having a conversation. King and Queen of Swords do, they, they, they converse, all right? So there could be a conversation brewing. Um, but I just see as well, Virgo, there's some kind of a new opportunity here that is coming in fast and it's connected to your destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. It's a positive shift. Um, but maybe you have some hesitancy. The full card in the reverse, like maybe there is this sense of love is a risk because I think that maybe that something in this situation really did disappoint you. But Spirit's telling you that it's okay, you know, this is an experience, it's taught you something, maybe taught you about your, your boundaries um, or how you wanna show up in a relationship. And so now there's something that's just, maybe it's unexpected showing up. Okay, let me just get a little bit more on that with the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it's a lot of stress here, Virgo. I think you're a lot in the mind. Um, overthinking, overanalyzing everything. Um, there could be, like I said, you know, now there could be, and not to say Virgo that you're critical, but you know, Queen of Swords energy, you could be hypercritical now of anything that's coming your way because you're in this super discerning kind of an energy. Um, there is stress because I think you're gonna feel like things are shifting very fast. As you cut away this situation, I think you're getting your energy back as well. The Ace of Wands is about rejuvenation re-inspiration, reinvigoration, and things are starting to flow more easily. Um, so that could feel a bit overwhelming um, and stressful, Virgo, but I've seen new opportunity. And I said fire sign, didn't I? Page of Pentacles, King of Wands. So I think there's, for a lot of you, it's a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with this King of Wands, um, Page of Pentacles. But if not, it's just someone that I think is, there's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, someone that's sort of a real go-getter and is sort of, they know what they want. So I think they're gonna be coming in fast and hot. And I think maybe you're gonna be a little bit, I need to think about this kind of thing, just based on everything that you're recently dealing with or cutting away, because I've got the Hermit card in the reverse. So Hermit card is you, Virgo, but I do think that something's calling for you to maybe come out of this sort of Hermit energy. Maybe you have taken a step back gone into a bit of isolation to process what's going on with you in a, in a situation or to process the past. You know, maybe you had to go um, and think about what patterns you wanna shift within relationships. I do think you might've gone a little bit far into the other side where you've become maybe a bit too closed off. Um, but I think that there's something this month in February calling for you to come out of your hermit energy and I think someone is coming at you quite quickly that's going to be trying to force you out of that so page of pentacles someone wanting to take you out make an offer take you on a date um could be a lot of fun a lot of chemistry I don't know if that's the one Virgo but I'm saying that there is just sort of this opportunity for passion that's going to maybe get you out of your shell and shift your energy it is someone connected to your destiny here with the wheel of fortune have to say um, so it might be just something that really just gets things moving again for you. And I feel it's different to what you've had here. It's different energy. Um, okay, Virgo, let me get some Mystic Black Rose on this situation. Last 
Oh, Virgo, a lot of passion, okay? So there is sexual energy coming at you now in, um, in the first half of February. Okay, sneaky. Social media. Social media. Um, it could be someone that you're meeting on social media online. Faith, wishing, hoping, praying. Okay, um, I also feel like, Virgo, there's someone that you have unfinished business with. And the king and the queen of swords, interesting energy. So the, the sneaky card, besides that, I think, you know, there's a phone here. So social media, you could be talking to someone online. I do feel that this person you have unfinished business with, you know, king, queen of swords in shadow energy, there's maybe a bit of dishonesty. So maybe that's why you're a little bit hesitant to kind of jump into something. There could be trust issues. There's someone here maybe still hanging on to you, fake profile hiding from you. King of swords can be a bit fickle. They can say they're like a politician. They say the, the right thing to get what they want and then they don't follow through. So maybe that's the thing. Um, maybe they're also, like I said, still holding on, but they hold back. Could be some games, right, is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, okay, shame, humiliation, degrading. So something really was disappointing you, Virgo, in this situation that I think you're cutting away. You're still working to cut it away we've got emotions in and out crashing unpredictable like waves and then i've got the jealousy card with heartstrings yeah so some of you virgo were in a situation with a person that either could be quite cruel or controlling jealous um or put you in a situation where they were being sneaky they weren't being faithful or whatnot or they weren't committing to you or they were promising you a lot and not delivering with the heartstrings card stringing along playing with feelings um, and inconsistent emotions up and down. So maybe one minute sort of forthcoming and the next minute cold and detached. And I think for some time you've been holding on to faith that that was going to work out. But I think you're getting very clear now that that's something of the past. I do think that it did hurt you and that's why you went into hermit mode a little bit. Humiliation, shame, degrading. Yeah, there's been... A need to kind of heal and work through some of these emotions that have come up for you, Virgo. Um, but in the end, Spirit's telling me to tell you that people can only love you from the place that they love themselves and the way that people behave, it's, it's not a reflection of your worth. And I think you're learning that. It has a lot more to do with them than to do with you, okay? So maybe you're relearning how to kind of love yourself. We've got pursuit, hunting down, chasing. I think that this is this person, we've got a king of wands and an eight of wands here. I think someone's going to be chasing you quite intently now as we move into February, having fun, party, fun with friends. So like I said, it's someone that's going to get you back into the groove, um, having a bit of fun and enjoyment. And I think that something has brought you quite down. So Virgo, I think that that's a positive. It's a shift. Um, let me get you guys a romance angel engagement Ooh. chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and soulmate so virgo i think this new person there could be a very strong strong connection and it's looking like a soulmate because i did say they're connected to your destiny i think that they're a person that's going to want to put put work into the situation as I said, you've got eight of pentacles. You could have put a lot of effort into this other situation and felt like you didn't get a return and you felt very hurt from that. Now, keep an open mind. You might be a bit taken aback by this new person coming in because they're different. I said they're going to be different. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. And I actually think that, yes, there's a lot of passion and chemistry, but they're quite intent on having something serious with you. You may be a little bit hesitant right with that full card feeling unready you know to just take that leap they could be wanting to take you on a holiday okay the full card maybe they're like okay let's go on a trip it's going to move very fast and you might be like i said feeling a little bit scared or feeling like things are risky because it's moving quickly anyway only do what you're comfortable with virgo um but i think that that's actually really promising <laughs> All right, I hope that that resonated for you. And if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.